Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Minecraft adventure, episode 9. And today, it's going to get interesting, because we are going to go and find that broken nether portal, portal mm -hmm. that I was at, where I got the golden sword and golden helmet. And we're going to replenish our, supp our supplies, because we lost a lot of stuff off camera the before we did the last episode as you may remember and so i'm gonna have to we want to get a whole bunch of iron and perhaps maybe diamonds we don't know how deep those caves go that i was seeing so we're gonna take this iron right here and we're gonna make it into some iron tools so we're gonna need an iron pickaxe uh... we're gonna make some more sticks so that we can make more stuff and an iron sword and lastly we're gonna go with an iron chest plate just to give us some more protection so we'll put that on here and yeah another thing that i did i made this book and quill which is a very helpful way to find your way around once you discover a ne neat place you can just write the coordinates in here so right now i have the coordinates of the house in there and then when we get to the nether portal i can write uh. broken nether portal and the coordinates there so we better start traveling but before that we did not die with this stuff which is very good because that would have been terrible if we would have died with all this stuff this is pretty good stuff right now and we need that but we're not going to take that on this journey just in case we die and i might take the bed with me because in a case when you are about to die, if you put your bed down and set your respawn point right there, and then die, you will respawn right there and be right next to your stuff. So that's a precaution that I can take. I also got used the cod that we had in the last episode that we acquired, and I smoked all that, and now I have 18 cooked cod, which can give you about 3 saturation replenish about that much so yeah the nether portal was over this way and so we'll start traveling as you can see we have arrived at the broken nether portal and I took the chest and its stuff so I don't think the chest is here anymore I might have mined it okay here it is yeah it has nothing in it because I took all the stuff out of it and I better be careful about walking on that stuff and be careful of all the lava you would not want to fall in there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this gold block cause that is nice to have we can convert that into nine gold ingots which we can use so yeah nether portals are consisted of crying obsidian, obsidian and lots of different stuff from the nether they have these cool blocks but I have some of them at home and I don't really need them because I can make them. Well, I'm taking damage from the block. Don't step on them. They make take damage like that. They're magma blocks. Which we can use to kill different mobs. Like if the mobs walk on them, they will take damage too. So those are kind of helpful if you use them in the right way. And then there's some netherrack all around here. But I um, don't have much use for that right now. So, I will leave that there. And on to the caves we go. So, we'll see how much luck we get in these caves. And night is falling as we're arriving. See, you can see there's already a cave right there. But there is bigger caves that we can check out. So, we'll pass that one up for now. And yeah, we're going to sleep here. Because we don't want to get attacked by all kinds of mobs. So, this is the first big cave that we come to. And as you can see, there's some coal, some copper. I'm not going to bother mining the copper, and I'm not going to bore you guys with all of the time that I take up mining all these resources. So we're going to go through here quick and see. I hear a zombie. Yeah, yep, he wants to kill me. Well, we can easily take care of him like that. And so I'm going to craft a few torches here. We're going to need some more than just that. Okay, we'll craft a whole bunch. So we have 44 torches, and we'll go look down here, and then we'll come back and mine the stuff. So let's see. Uh, more coal. 
And does this dead end? I think it dead ends. Okay, so this one doesn't have much besides the coal. But I'm going to collect the coal anyways because we will need it when we have major smelting operations or just for everyday things that we use coal for. Okay, now that we have mined the coal, we will go look up in this cave. This cave's a little higher elevation. I see a skeleton. I don't have a shield right now. Okay, I'm getting attacked back there. I'll let him come out into the sunlight and get burned. Maybe he's smart enough not to. Seems like he's kind of smart. Let's see here. Okay, we're just going to take him out. Got him. Could not see very much. And this... That's not good because creepers can come out of nowhere and just blow you up. Does that go somewhere? Kind of looks like there's a little cave. Back here. Check it out. I hear lava. I don't know if this leads to lava. Wow, this is getting tight right here. But nothing besides copper. So we're going to get out of here. We go check out the rest of this cave. See what it's got to offer. Flowers not letting me place my block. Okay. So let's go up here. Um, is there anything back here? Doesn't look like it. No. So, so far we're striking out no iron in these past two caves. Block off that water flow. I don't know if there's going to be anything in here. Not seeing anything. Mostly filled with water. No. Okay, this is not going so well so far. But this looks very promising. Oh, wow. There's dripstone hanging all over the place. Dripstone's kind of cool. It was added in the 1.17 update, I think. And it just is a nice texture block that looks pretty cool. Adds some coolness to the environment. And there's a zombie coming out of here. Take the iron sword to that. And we'll place some torches and see what we find. This looks like it could be a huge cave. I'm going to try to light up as much of the area as possible so that we don't get killed by anything that spawns. And there's some coal here, which I think I'm going to mine, and then we'll move on. Okay, as we continue to explore this cave, I'm not finding a whole lot, which is kind of disappointing. And it looks like it starts to end right here. In 1.18... Oh, skeleton right there. The fight man. In 1.18, they, they made these caves go, like, super claustrophobic. And there's lots of mobs down here. It looks like I'm going to get stuck. Okay, he just took out... Oh, zombie survived. Just took out them, thankfully. I keep hearing lava. It might be the lava that's above us. There's some more coal, which I'll come back for later. Lots of dripstone. That ends right there, and that's copper in the corner. Still no iron. I don't understand, guys. It don't make sense that there's this many caves and no iron. I don't know if the iron just, like, slowed down. If the iron uh, ore, whatever they call it, like how much iron ore spawns. I don't know if that decreased in this update. I would kind of doubt it, but no iron in these caves. So we're going to have to go look into a different cave, and I guess I'll leave that coal that I, I said I was going to get. But we'll leave that. So we'll look for some more caves. Right now, I am in a crevice in the ground, very tight. And I don't know if we're going to find much besides copper and coal. Okay, it looks like it's opening up. Mm, you can hear cave noises. In the oh, wow, that goes very, very deep. So, we will go down there pretty soon. Look at that huge copper vein. That's crazy. But we want some iron, not copper right now. And we're not finding any. 
which is very disappointing. But I guess I'll have to make more torches and we'll probably try to head down that very, very deep cave. But right now, I'm not finding... Okay, this goes very deep. I don't even know how I'm going to get down here. I don't have a hay bale with me. No. So, we are kind of screwed for now. Um, we'll try to find another way down. Okay, I really don't have any way to get down. Which is very unfortunate. But there is no way for me to get down right now. So, I think I'm going to leave that cave. It's going to be very huge. Very hard to explore the whole thing. We're going to leave that for an entire episode in itself. So next episode, we will be exploring that cave. And hopefully we find some good stuff. Usually those places are super dangerous, but have decent stuff. And they came with the 1.18 update. And that is one of the cool features. But it's unfortunate that we can't get down without a water bucket or something. So we're probably going to have to head back. Oh, wait. Iron. I see our first iron. This is huge. It may not be more than one block of iron, though, which is really unfortunate, if that's true. So we're going to check it out. Um, yes, it's just one. One iron in this whole video for caving. That is not good. We got pretty much 64 coal out of it. But coal was not what we came here for. We came here to get iron and to replenish our supplies. So hopefully that bottom pit that we're going to go into in next episode will give us some iron because we really need some. So I'm going to have to go back to the house and get a hay bale or something. Maybe try to find some iron around the house in order to be able to get down there with a bucket of water. Because I feel like a bucket of water... We can make a waterfall and just travel down the waterfall. And that would be a lot safer, a lot better. A lot more chance of survival. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you in episode 10.